Hi everyone, my name's Laura and I am 24 years old. I'm doing a little video for mine to talk about things that can help with mental health. Now, I used to suffer from depression. Um, I had it for around four or five years, so I know how hopeless you can feel sometimes. You know it can make you feel worthless, like you're not good enough. And one of the things I'd say to help with this is to try and surround yourself with positive people that have nice things to say about you. Um, I had a partner at the time who wasn't particularly supportive um, and you find that a lot these days. People don't understand, they find it weird, they find it scary and it's not, it's perfectly normal. Um, and being with him made me feel worse. You know, he'd, he'd only heightened those negative feelings I had about myself. He didn't support me, he wasn't particularly nice. And once I finally, after a long time, found the courage to leave him, I completely came out of my shell. So that's number one, surround yourself with positive people. Don't listen to the negative comments. You don't need to hear that. Um, another thing I'd say that helps with mental health is keeping active. Um, I started running, which really, really helped me, especially since I started doing pole fitness a couple of years ago. That really helped me, so keeping active does help. It releases endorphins that make you feel good about yourself. Um, also, find someone you can confide in. It is hard these days, unfortunately, it is still a bit of a taboo subject, um, which is a shame because mental illness is perfectly common, especially with depression. One in three of us will get it at some point in our lives, so it is a shame that it's still considered a taboo subject and people still find it a hard thing to talk about. Um, failing any of those things, I encourage you to go to MIND. I went to MIND when I had depression. Um, they are the number one mental health service for England and Wales and they are with you every step of the way. They will help you retrain your way of thinking to recognise the triggers that can cause your depression and make you have particularly bad days compared to some better days. Um, thank you for watching, I hope those tips have helped and please, please, please keep talking about mental health. Thank you.